my parents. I just wanted to let you know that homework will be starting on Monday and you'll be seeing these homework folders coming home in your child's backpack. Um, I just wanted to give you a few pointers. The first flap you'll see some notes and completed work. You will probably keep most of this stuff at home. Occasionally you'll see something that you need to send back. In the middle there are going to be some things that you'll have the entire year. This is a list of the sight words that they need to know at the end of the year. This flap is uh, the writing format for the narrative writing sample and it just gives you some guidelines on what a good narrative has, so it's a good reference. On the back of that is a narrative writing checklist. Kids haven't really been taught how to use this yet, but it just helps you know what should be in your narrative and reminds them to use good capitalization, punctuation, and spelling. In the back flap, you'll see the homework packet. I've filled out a sample for you. The front page is just a cover sheet. You'll just initial in the squares as you complete the items. Um, the back side is a list of spelling words. We always have decodable words and sight words. These are all from kindergarten. And the choices are at the bottom. They only need to complete one of those. And you don't even have to turn anything in. You can just initial at the bottom that your child completed that. You'll always have two math pages in the packet. This is an example. Um, number bonds, which we've been working on. Don't forget, I'll never send anything home we haven't learned in class. This is called the writing word web. This is just a brainstorming sheet, so please make sure that you're not spending too much time on this. Just help your child think of all the ideas they can think of related to the topic. You'll see that we have some words that are not spelled correctly. That's because your child should be the one sounding and spelling the words, so no need to worry about correct spelling. Pictures and words are fine, or one, or one of the other. You'll use those ideas on the brainstorming sheet to write a narrative. In this case, we're just starting out, so I have already completed the title, topic sentence, and closing sentence, and your child will write two narrative sentences using the words from the previous page. As you can see, appropriate first grade spelling is in the sentences, so please just focus more on them sounding out the words and spelling them as they hear them. Here's the second math page, another number bond. And the last page is a spelling test. Uh, this week we only have 10 words, so you'll just give them a test on Thursday and the bottom part does not need to be filled out unless they wanna challenge themselves. When you're done, it goes right back in the pocket and it should be turned in on Friday. So good luck everybody, let me know if you have questions.